Greetings everyone and welcome back to Habersack Hill. Of course, we're playing some backpack here today. Hello, Crate. Hello, Tote. Oh, uh, is, oh, there we are. There's Satchel as well. And there's Parcel. Oh, fantastic. Almost the whole gang is here, except for one person who's conspicuously missing. Uh, right. I would like to research this. We need two more lost sparks before we get the key to the frozen heart. Well, we're going to need to see about going on an adventure that might get us some of those sparks. But we're going to be taking out a uh, uh, purse today. I think we're going to go with the Eldritch Purse. Sure. Uh, do we have any obvious ones? Here we go. Run ends after Area 3. Uh, this one would oh, it'd be the Blessed Sword Run again. I mean, there's a possibility with that one. Fishy business, you start with all of these items. Uh, that gives you another one. We've also got ghostly. Have we got any others? Uh, start with the rose. Okay, you cannot find rare or energy items in combat rewards. That seems like possibly one of the least uh, big problems of all of the items. I'm not going to lie. Uh, sorry, not rose. It's red cotton. Well, I mean, it looks like a rose. Uh, but I don't think this one would be uh, too bad. But it only ends after area two, so maybe not. Mm, what we got here? Can we be placed in the same space twice? Removed from backpack when combat ends. <sighs> that being said, maybe an area two is not a bad option in order to get the lost spark. Ah, well, I was going to go on a standard run, wasn't I? No, let's go on a regular standard run. It's been a while. I mean, it hasn't actually been that long, but uh, I'm going to pretend it has been so that we can justify doing this. Right, I would like to get a rare item, please. Let's see what we get. We've got a ninja star. Um, okay. Not the best of the rare items that I could have received. I'm not going to lie. But all right, I get we're rolling with this then. It's all about arrangement. Yeah, no, it isn't. <laughs> Sadly. All right, then. Well, let's head down to the bramble. The place more likely to find Pocket. And then we will go on to the Enchanted Swamp. And then I guess we're going to the Magma Heart. Because we won't have pretty much anywhere else to go but there. Hey, cute little one. Uh, okay, well, we're going to have to come back here. But, uh, alright, I'm down with that. We will we will give that an op, uh, a try once I am in a position to do so. But let's start with taking out this, this uh, combat over here. Uh, we want to remove you. If we can't, am I gonna? Yeah, I am absolutely gonna use it. Read shuriken in this row column. I mean, I'm fairly certain that, that shurikens are always just a small uh, value when you uh, sell them. So I'm not too uh, looking forward to holding on to that just to get to a shop and then get offered one gold coin. In fact, it would make me sad. Right, it would be. I could mitigate. A reasonable amount. I would still take six points of damage, though. Or I could take you out and take ten points of damage. So, both blocks it is. I could pick up the bow if I wanted to reorganize at this point, but I really don't. So, instead, one, two, and then we're going to block the incoming damage there. That's nice and easy. And then it's just a matter of finishing you off. I will pop one block. Uh, you know what? We're going to err on the side of caution. I'm going to uh, block all incoming damage that I need to block. Will I even get through your shield? No, I won't even get through your shield at this point. This is going to be a slow first fight, sadly. It is what it is. But it's going to be a war of attrition that I will comfortably win. <laughs> oh my god, 16 block. I disapprove. I'm actually getting to the point now where I, I'm starting to think that maybe I should just wail on you, but uh, really, I only have to go through this cycle uh, a few more times, though. I'm going to take... Well, we're starting to get close to taking a lot more damage, actually. As this, this, this fight goes on, you're getting significantly more insistent on taking me out. Now, this Bird Empire sent its newest recruits to the Bram... Yeah, you're just straight up getting better with every, every uh, fight. Okay, well, we'll just finish that one there. Okay, that was not the best engagement. We still lost 10 uh, HP in the end. Well, let's open up all these spaces. There we go. And got a another level straight away. Do something like this, I think. Sure. Gives us lots of space to put things. 
All right, another shuriken. We'll pick it up. Uh, we've got explosive. I mean, I don't mind having that there, actually. Uh, a broken sword. A damaged knife, rather. We do have an engine wand. Each turn, if connected to one mana, removes one mana and deals three damage to all enemies. Not exactly the most useful. I'll grab... Uh, oh, actually, there's nothing else for me to grab. So I'll bring that along just because I can. Right, let's go and see who we're going to be fighting uh, is the boss of this arena. Oh, looks like one of the birds. Okay. Now, what have we got in this chest? We have got another explosive. We've got disgusting food, which is not ideal. Uh, poison, and, well, I mean, it gives two energy. I'll lose three HP, but uh, maybe I'll want it. I don't know. All right, hello there. I do need to get rid of you as a matter of somewhat high importance. Uh, well, let's just open up then. Open up strong. Use all of that. Finish you off. I'm not going to get... Well, I would get through your uh, shield with uh, using everything there, but I, I don't think we need to. We're going to apply a little bit of block. Incoming a tiny bit of damage, but we should be fine. Yeah, though this is a simple fight compared to the first one. That first one was just unpleasantly tricky for us, honestly. Alright, what have we got? We've got our first cap. Ones in the column below get plus one damage. Not what we're going to have, but sure. I mean, I could put that in there. We could grab the knife, definitely. We could bring along the cave fish. Is there really any reason to? Is another matter entirely. But, uh, hmm. Each turn refills mana. I mean, a charging mana stone is kind of amazing. There is a potential for a magic build here. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the food. I think that's all pretty good. Good. All right, moving on. Really? Another crab? Wow. We are, we are dealing with a lot of crabs at the moment. Uh, right, let's get plenty of block going. I could increase poison on you. Sure, I mean, I don't actually want to be holding on to that. So, effectively, after this turn, you're in poison sickness, and I don't have to worry about you any longer. And now we can safely just turn all of our attention to you. And after this turn, you're going to be in poison sickness too. So, once again, don't have to really worry about you. Now let's get all of that opened up. There you go. I like having that stairs arrangement because it gives us a lot of places to put helmets if we want to. Okay, this is just a straight-up better shield. So, we're taking that. And two of these next to each other. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. That That's perfect. Uh, can't take any more items. Uh, the stacking star is nice, but I don't really think it's necessary for us in any particular way. Uh, we will try and keep this at least until I can get a parcel and send that home. <laughs> Damn it. I am I am tired of not having that. And, or rather, having it on my list of to-dos. Alright. Okay, I'm glad that you're at the front. It means I can try and deal with you nice and early. That being said, there is no way that I'm going to do enough damage to make this work. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a bunch of block. It's not going to do a, a lot for the incoming damage, but we're just going to have to hope. There we go. Let's get a little bit more poison on you. And again, yes, we will take you out at this point. I will suffer four damage, but I think it was more important to take them out of the fight. Ooh. I would take a lot of incoming damage here. So I'm going to say no to that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say uh, a pretty pretty solid nope on that one, and instead just start uh, stacking up poison. I'm not too concerned about the incoming damage on this round. Mostly, I just want to keep getting poison on you. I greatly disapprove of the healing, but maybe I should actually refocus my efforts. Yeah, it probably does make sense to focus my attention on the healer for now. I should have really been focusing on you for the whole time. That was a bit silly of me. Making some misplays here, unfortunately. 
even though you're going to heal a decent amount, the, the poison is going to take you down. There's not too much you can do against that. And there we go. Now that that has been removed, we are in a much, much better position. Let's get a little bit of extra block. I just need to keep topping up the poison. You're no longer going to be getting uh, free top-ups on health. I could block all the incoming damage here. I will, actually. I'm so low on health, I can't actually afford to just be giving health away. Right, let's uh, just focus on stacking poison. It's going to do a little bit of damage. In fact, it's going to be doing ramping damage with every uh, every turn, so that's fine. Next turn, you're going to be in poison sickness, so that uh, takes care of that. Or actually, no. Oh, no, of course, because it uh, went down. But there we go. All right, and uh, we can use the rest of those those uh, turns on the sword. There we go. What do we got? Create a blessing. Got a fish. Going to take you. As on spikes to self, I think that would be good. The blessing, useful. Potentially. Hmm. Okay, I can take one more item. I'm going to forego the the uh, the rose there. And we're going to pick this up, because this will affect everything, including my shiv. So effectively, it would be like using the point on the shiv, but then all of my other weapons gain a big, uh, big boost, which is actually quite nice. Uh, can I just use this right now? No, I can't. Sad, but true. Okay. Good enough for now. All right, let's move on. Oh, we could have gone and maybe gotten a legendary, but I don't think we uh, really need to worry about that one too much. All right, there's some experience down there. We are quite low on health right now, though. Another brick. Hmm. If you can have four of them together, they actually become quite powerful. Uh, however, the real, real uh, pick here is the hat. There we go. Uh, do I want to sell this and grab the brick? I kind of do, not going to lie. Sure. There we go. Uh, what else have we got? Two of these shops right next to each other. It's kind of uncommon. Weapons of this column get 200% bonus damage of this combat. And then it's destroyed. Well, let's not go for that. Bronze Blast Plate... I mean, it's nice, but not really what we're looking for. Weapons two spaces away gain a huge increase in power. If we pop that there, then the shiv would get the uh, the increase, which would be quite amazing, considering it's a zero-cost item. But we've got an idea of what's there. For now, let's just go and grab the experience. All right, you're going to be skedaddling shortly. All right. Got a lot of damage on the board right now, but we're already mitigating a decent amount of it. I'm going to eat the fish, get some health back. Going to activate this. Going to use the shiv. Going to use the dagger. Then we're going to protect from some of the incoming damage. Now, you're skedaddling this turn. It's not something we want to see happen. That will stop it. Uh, this incoming damage, nothing much I need to worry about, actually. Uh, so, we can just start focusing on you with my regular weapons. Right, we've got great luck. That's already in the bag. One. Two. I could remove 9 damage, but... Hmm. I'd still take 6. Uh, actually, it's pretty similar, so uh, I don't mind going for that, sure. There we go. Right, let's focus on you. You're going to be a lot easier to take out here. Still down on 14. Very worrisome. Right, nine incoming. No longer need to worry about it, though. 
need to get up our passive block. Ooh, wow, the pickaxe over there. A nice gem build waiting for us. We don't need to worry about incoming damage. At least because we're going to kill them. Uh, another dagger wouldn't be terrible. Eight haste herself would give us a lot of passive block. Definitely going to take that then. Uh, items is played on are destroyed. But apparently we need that for the explosive. No, we don't. We've already got the explosive arrow, so that's fine. Um, I think grabbing the ring is really what we want. Uh... Mana Stone is great if we end up going for a magic build, but this isn't really turning into a magic build so far, is it? So maybe we don't. Maybe we pick this up. We use that to uh, on the explosive. That being said, this is a rare. I could just discard the dynamite in exchange for one other thing, and at that point I could go for another dagger, frankly. Uh, that wouldn't be a terrible choice. I could place these around like so. Now this is affecting four things. Sure. I think that's not too bad. Alright, let's go grab the experience. Yoink. Now then. You do have a meal that gives some energy. Got something that gives poison. Uh, this is health. Not what we want, obviously. Oh, nothing really there for us. Bearing in mind, I would have to sacrifice something in order to pick anything else up. I could possibly have you, because it would give my armor up here an extra bit of block. If I had that in this position. That would mean I would need to move this arrangement down a bit, but that wouldn't be a problem. Value of this is three. Uh, sure. Sure, we'll pick this up. I'm going to do a little bit of a, a rejig of my gear. Something like that should work nicely. That gives us a bit more passive block, which I'm very, very much okay with. Eventually, we, we want to get some more hats to give us even more passive block. But that can come in time. Alright, good enough. Let's move on. Right, hello. First and foremost, going to straight up use this item. Got ourselves a bunch of uh, haste, which is going to make our passive block bonkers moving forward. Uh, we don't need to worry about the incoming damage this time round, so let's just focus on removing the healer. The nice thing about anything that uh, has dodge is status effects go through the dodge, which is actually fantastically useful. We're now capable of stacking four poison a turn. Look at the amount of block we have. This fight, we don't need to worry about anything but just attacking, which I'm A-OK -okay with. What we need is a way to get that kind of passive uh, block happening normally. It would be just glorious. But there we are. Remove you out of the fight. Okay, not too bad. It's a bit of a bloodthirsty run, this one, but... Uh, I'm okay with it. Now, you could farm for reorganized items if you really wanted to. I don't particularly right now. I don't think that needs to be our focus. But this is good enough. Right, there we go. Got a level up, so let's make sure that that shield can get the most out of its placement. Lucky Horseshoe. When combat ends, creates a curse. Oh, sorry. Unlucky Horseshoe, rather. It's the opposite of what I said. Uh, we've got the Bow Blade... Not what I'm really looking for. Uh, these aren't bad options. Got a shuriken down here. Got a cleaver. Maybe cleaver build time. Hard to sell myself on that one right now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it is it is a difficult sell, that. Uh, what I could do, though, is perhaps move these around a bit. Do something like this. And shimmy you up right to, to the top. Adjacent to diagonal armor gets plus one block. So if I did that, we now have a lot more block going on. Okay, you're, you're not getting as much of a bonus, but you're getting a huge one. 
Okay, our passive block is starting to look really, really nice at this point. Would love to pick up this bloody fish, though. I'm not going to. But I feel that I may regret this. If I die in the next fight, well... I, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say other than I made the wrong call. <laughs> I, I don't know. But I'm going to be frustrated with myself. Thoroughly. Alright, okay, let's get in here. Go for the poison straight up. There's no reason to do anything else. This doesn't even do more damage my daggers, so I think this is okay. The nice, chunky bit of passive block now. That is really helping out. Right, what have we got? We've got a crooked arrow. Let's not go for that. We've got the toll blade. It deals eight damage. It tolls for thee. Or you can have the toll blade. It deals 16 damage. Each turn hurts. Deals four damage to self. It tolls for thee! I imagine, you know, you'd just be gradually getting more and more excitable. Uh, the shove shield. Add seven block. Pushes frontmost enemy to the back. Not super useful. Cleansing wand. Not, Also not super useful. This... Yeah, you know what? Nothing here really standing out to me. I know I'm just carrying around the three uh, structures, and I could be doing something else with that space, but I'm choosing not to. Hello. How about you don't do that, and instead I do this. There we go. I think that's a much better arrangement. Please, no slime. There we go. And fight's over. Okay, now we're looking at some stuff that I want. Adjacent to Diagonal Armor gets plus two. This has much less block, so I'd be going from six block to three blocks. So I'd be losing three block, but this would be going up by one, and this one would be going up by one. So we'd only really be losing one block, and adjacent weapons would get a bonus. Thing is, no adjacent weapons. I think we might be able to do something, though. How about we shimmy some stuff around? I'm going to pull these across like so. And this goes in there. It doesn't activate on the shield, unfortunately. Uh, that's, uh, that's a shame. This... Yeah, it isn't considered armor. Okay, well, that's actually okay then, because that... Yeah, I think we will actually end up more or less positive with this. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, that's definitely worked out for us in the long run. Giving us some better damage on our shiv, better damage on this particular dagger. Okay, I like it. Getting the boots in would be great, but we're not getting rid of this until I have an opportunity to uh, give that to Parcel. We do have another brick over here, though. Hmm. This would then be giving us three block a turn. I mean, ultimately, it's better to have them in a, in a four arrangement, but for now, it's not the worst. Uh, it does suck that I can't really get rid of it until we fight the boss, but such is the life of trying to keep this silly wooden sword. <laughs> I blame the sword. Uh, we've got two events. You know what? Let's just go and deal with the elite. All right. You're blocking. So I've got a little bit of damage incoming from over there, but it shouldn't be too much for me to deal with. Let's focus on you. There we go. Nice and done. Now, problem is you're going to be getting stronger quickly. So I really do need to get a lot of damage hitting you fast. Now, I could just sit out this turn, let that rage go down a little bit. Certainly not a terrible option. Uh, I could also... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to spend this turn blocking. We're going to err on the side of caution. There you go. I know there's no, no real damage going to get through there, but it's fine. Also, the poison is doing its magic. There we go. And... Shy of what I need it to be, frankly. But oh well. Should have gone for the uh, night shield there. 
But that's fine. You're now in po uh, poison range. We've got the cauldron. We've got another shiv. Could lose the dag in exchange for another shiv. This does a decent chunk of damage, and the double poison is really attractive to me. But using that dagger would allow me to uh, pick up uh, well, something else. I could get a toxic kunai, for example. Uh, I think... Yeah, as much as I like it, we're going to be getting rid of that. Around the toxic kunai. That also means the brass plate is going to affect more things. There we go. Finished choosing. That was a good little fight. All right, let's have a look. Of course, you've got the Queen Cleaver. I should have gone for the other thing. Damn it. Got... What's this one? Why will it show me the Queen Cleaver, but won't show me this? You know what? I don't really care too much for the spin. Uh, oh, my. Trade food for a cleaver. I, I don't... Everyone wants me to have a cleaver all of a sudden. You're, you're mocking me, game. <laughs> Why? Damn it. Poison to a weapon and... Ah, oh, come on. That's a shame. I was very much hoping that we might be in a position where we could get something on a structure. Because that would have been grand. Alas, no. Uh, let me have a look at my weapons. Each one of these can take two upgrades. Are we going for a shiv build? We might be, actually. Sure, I'm going to pop rage on a, on a weapon. Right now, it's not going to do a lot for us. Especially on a weapon I can reuse once in a turn. But if I can get rage on the, the other shiv, then I can use these to build up my rage every single turn. Only by one, but it'll be enough. See, that's the problem with anything that you can reuse once a turn, really. Uh, you really want her on a low-cost, multi-use item, something like that. Uh, poison to a weapon. Add three slow to an enemy to a weapon. Uh, sure, we'll make this a uh, poison rage-filled shiv. I see nothing wrong with this plan. Right, with 14 health, let's go and fight the boss. In before, one of the earliest losses that I've had... In the game so far. Okay, so you're going to add poison to... Oh, this is going to be awful. Okay. Mo uh, noble. Screechingly loud. Pretty annoying, really. I have many regrets. I have no way to deal with the shenanigans that are about to come my way. Done. That is going to really hurt. I. This is... This can't afford to be a war of attrition. I straight up need you to die. ASAP, please. We're just going to focus all of our attention in pulling down your health. Which we're doing quite nicely. But another three poison will end us. Well, it won't end us immediately. But uh, we won't be able to sustain that. We will win this fight. But scary. Came close to not. Uh, while we're picking up, can be placed, uh, cannot be placed in the same space twice. Removed from the backpack at the end of the turn. And uh, can't go back into the same spot. Weapons behind this get 500% bonus uh, damage permanently. Weapons behind this are used. Weapons behind this are destroyed. Uh, the belt of knives, when you use five items, deals five damage to all enemies. I don't tend to, but that could be a thing that we could do. But for now, I think we're just going to go with this. It makes the most sense. Oh, my lord. We desperately need a healer. Please. All of my health back, or at least some of it. Okay, that's put us back in the game, at least. Glad to have helped you. I'm glad you were here to help me. Parcel, even if this run fails at this point, it'll just be a, a quick quick run. We might even jump straight into another one. But by Lord, by, uh, by Lord, uh, by God, I want you to have, I guess, it's the same thing, depending on who you talk to. Uh, there we go. Let's get that back to town. Is there anything else I want to give you? Um, I could send the charging minus on back. It doesn't look like we're building a magic build right now. Still. That is realistically the only thing I want to send. So, thank you very much, Parcel. I feel if I keep turning down these cleavers, th this will be the one run that could have been the cleaver run. And I will be so sad.
However, do I want to bring this with me? Kind of do. At this point, yeah. Anything we put on this would be applied to all enemies, so if we could get some poison on that or, or something along those lines, it would be pretty pretty solid. Alright. We're going to have to be moving you around in these spaces initially. We're going to need uh, another level up relatively soon, though, in order to make some more spots that I can put that into. Because some things just won't work if they're not where I've currently got them. Right, I can see there's experience over there. And there's gold down here. Experience is much more important to me than gold. Like, much, much more important to me than gold. So we're going to go straight for that. You're now awake, which isn't great. Uh, no, we, we're not going to get to that, I don't think. Still, there's no reason to fight you just yet. Oh, goodness. All right, I need to do some damage to you. So, first up, use this. Hit everyone for six damage. That's fine. You're no longer a threat. And you two can no longer get through my armor. So let's just focus on dealing damage. I could use the rough whetstone again, actually. Wow. Okay. I didn't really... Did I not do that first? I didn't do it first. Oh, no. I did. Huh. Uh, okay. I, I, oh, of course. None of these use energy anymore. Right, bearing that in mind for the future, I can use that many more times. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna work quite well, I think. Right, gotta do a bunch of damage again, so we're gonna use this once, twice, thrice. Womp. And I need to be through you before you get your spikes in play. There we go. Okay, this is actually not a, not a bad uh, way of doing things. Okay. Get items. Let's see what we get. Mana stone. We have got a Peridot. Adjacent weapons get poison, and they also lose a little bit of damage. But uh, is there a better place for me to put this? I think... We're going to want that about here, I'm thinking. Since that's going to give this even more poison. Is it time to say goodbye to the heart ring? Tricky. Piercing deals 11 damage to all enemies. Uh, plus one to the energy cost for this, this turn. We need that to get the Doru. I could say goodbye to the machete. It would mean I'd only be able to use that once in a turn. Well, twice in a turn, rather. But that might be okay. So this still hits all enemies. Um, let me have a quick look at the card. So, piercing. Piercing attacks just go through arm. You know what? It has to be. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Nothing else here that we really want, though. I if I had a spot, but we just don't. Not with the, the build as it is. Okay, finish choosing. We'll leave the dice there. I just don't make use of them, really. Right then. Let's have a look at all of you. So, first up, we're going to want to use this once. Then hit all of you with that. Do I want to pop my shield? Yeah, I think I do. I think it was wise to not use up the uh, use the whetstone twice. But this round will go with the whetstone twice. There we go. And jobs are good. Then. Get a nice level up just in time. Done and done. Get items. See what we've got. Right, you can go somewhere else. You can't go there anymore, so that's fine. Right, we've got the Wild Buckler. Can be used one time each combat, on use at 18 block. I mean, this gives me more passive block, but that is an amazing buckler. Uh, the Binding Song. Each connected structure plus one block. Each turn adds one block. Removes one mana from connected mana network. And if there is no mana, disabled. 
unfortunate. Huh. So we do want mana now. Great. Uh, Ray adds one damage to scratch for each adjacent or diagonal ring. Scratch deals plus two damage. You could go for a, a scratch build, I guess. Uh, this currently only deals one damage, but we could get it up to dealing five damage, and scratch is a single point of damage, I believe. Uh, adds three weak to enemy, and uh, does nine damage, plus one to the energy cost this turn. Not what we want to go for. I mean, it's rare, so we could we could definitely bring it. And I can take one more item. I guess we'll take the throwing star. Sure, but we do need to get mana. And that will give us a bit of extra passive block going on there. Right, we've got a forge. Before we go there, let's go and see about dropping off some stuff. Don't need the knuckles. Could get the extra brick, actually. That gives us quite a lot of uh, extra block there. That's wonderful. Each one of these is now giving me three block. Oh, uh, sorry, no, that one's... Uh, each one of these give me two block. That one's showing up as three because this is technically a structure. Uh, do we want the fish? Four regen to self would be great to get my health back up. All structures beneath this get plus one to block. Oh, that's so good. But I would have to move it across in order to make it work. But I could literally build a house with this. Damn it, how can I say no? I can't. I can't say no. All right, you're giving a good bit of poison right now, and I do love that. However... I can sell this for six. Uh, I think we're going to have to say goodbye to that blade. Realistically. Uh, actually, I could sell it. It's a tiny amount of money. It doesn't matter to me, ultimately. I just want to build a house. This is the first time I've ever built a house. In all of the time that I've played this game, this is the very, very first time I've ever built a house. And this does nothing by itself, so we do want to get something on it. But now, these, this little, <laughs> look, it's, it's a two by, by uh, three. This is a big piece of armor's worth of space. But we're getting a lot out of it. Four, eight, we're now up to 11, we're up to 14 block. And if we have some extra effects on these, we could potentially get ridiculous amounts of, uh, of effects just passively triggering each turn. That by itself is amazing. This, for a 2x2, two two, gives me only 3 block. This brings it up to 10, this brings it up to 4. So, actually, this is the equivalent of this. And this is only possible because of adjacencies. Well, I mean, this is only possible because of adjacencies too. But still, I, I stand by what I did. I like it. Right, need to get you out of the running because you're going to be a problem for me. We've got crazy amounts of block. That I don't need to worry about. I only need one bit of energy left over for you. So let's just go all in with this. One two and hit everyone there we go nice bit of block uh nice bit of poison being applied there very very nice indeed okay and turn you're gonna steal some gold i disapprove but there we go i'll kill you on the next turn with the pass through one two three womp. now i'm only taking three return damage so you just got to make sure that you're doing you know, you're getting bang, good bang for buck out of your weapons at this point. But it looks like every turn, all I'm doing is just focusing on this. Now, where can I place you at this point? We've got a couple of places reserved. This one will work. And I've got the Flaming Bangles on Scratch. Adds two burn to end. Okay, you really, really could make a Scratch build with those brass knuckles and these bangles and a couple of rings. Your Scratch could be brutal. On use adds one 
dodge to self. You can only do it uh, only use it one time each combat, which isn't great for us. Uh, no, I don't think we want. I mean, I could get rid of the dagger, I suppose. Um, is there anything here that I really want? I could say goodbye to the dagger in exchange for the rose and the kunai, and I think that's okay. Sure. I could absolutely have brought the the hat along, but I just don't think I'm going to be using it. <sighs> Lord, really? Still nothing great. All right. Well, I haven't got any clothing, and I definitely don't have enough money. Uh, two burn to a weapon wouldn't be bad, though. One poison to a weapon. Two burn to a weapon on this. Because I'd apply two burn to everyone I hit every single time. But regen on a ring would be fantastic because it means every turn I would gain one health back. But we are going for that. You do help. You do. Maybe I could get some extra poison on there. Because right now I'm only getting the poison from the Peridot. I might be able to sell a little bit more. Let's let's see. Will you accept anything more? No. Ah, that's okay then. All right, let's go and see what was in this chest. Because we passed it up a while ago. <laughs> it's a fight. We found a fight in a chest. That's fine. All right, well, then let's just uh, hit you with this early. I don't still don't need to worry about any incoming damage here. Okay, you're just ruined by the amount of uh, status effects we're already applying. Alright, get items. We've got... When a weapon kills an enemy, adds three haste to self. That's huge for us, actually. But first, I want to pop you in a new position. I think that has to be what we take. Wouldn't mind a little bit of healing, but uh, for now... Oh, this is clothing that you could add energy to this, but it's very, very expensive to do so. And we no longer have the structural component that needed mana, so that's not an issue either. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, what do we have over here? Nothing like a good fish, you hear? I mean, I would like to, but I can't afford to. I, mostly because of space. What? Oh, we're fighting up against a toad mage. Very well. Uh, oh, actually, we do have enough. In fact, we've got enough to add even more burn. Four burn to every enemy every time I use this, and one poison. Four burn is amazing, because we're going to stack that so aggressively as a consequence. Yes, make that happen. Okay. Onwards and downwards. Got a chest of valuables. We've got a something. Let's find out what that something is. Uh, no. Until I've got space in my uh, inventory, there's no point. Right. Got a decent amount of incoming damage. We've also got the poison. Here is where I really, 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 really wish I had regen. <laughs> but oh well. We're just going to have to work through you as quickly as we can. There we are, down to 37, which is good. Got a good bit of uh, nasty status effects on you. But the incoming poison is just unpleasant. I should be... Sh uh, yeah, I need to make sure that I use this first. Just to stack up the rage. There we go. Moved you from the running. And now I need to focus on you whilst they're in shell mode. Actually, they're both in shell mode now. Watching my health just tick down, and there's nothing I can do about it. Right, vaccine. Right, we've got this again. Don't have any mana for it, though. We've got another heart ring. We've got a key. We have got flowers, uh, which is okay. But I've got no room to place any of it, sadly. Uh, I could get rid of the luck, but I... I really don't want to. 
And I should put some regen on that just so it's easier to justify that choice. Uh, let's keep on going. I want to see what we can find first. Oh, goodness, you again. Will you please just leave me alone? I just want to plumb the depths of this dungeon in peace. Go, already gone. And we go. Nice. Another lucky ring. Uh, an emerald. Weapons in this column get plus two damage. So realistically, we'd run it up there somewhere. Do I even need the shield anymore? This is a bold move. But I kind of need to at this stage. We've got a fire arrow over there, which is actually quite nice. Two luck. I, I don't think we need it. I think it would be better for me to go for the uh, emeralds here. And get extra damage on these two. We are going to say goodbye to you. Uh, I guess I could just take the lucky ring at this point, but uh, I've only got a couple more spaces before I have to start really, really getting creative with where I, I move this over to. Uh, that'll do for now. Got a shop, got a smith, got some money. Do we have things we want to sell? Possibly we want to get rid of the luck ring. Well, let's find out what the uh, what we can do here. Have we got anything? No. Two block on a shield. An extra two burn on a weapon. My goodness. One energy to clothing again. Rage to a melee weapon. Yes. Get that on the other shiv and then I can build rage. Okay. That could definitely work for us. Oh, hi. Uh, fancy seeing you here. Now, I've only got 26 uh, block now thanks to shedding the previous block, but that should be okay. We do pull them down so quickly in terms of their health. Yep. Can I place it over there? No, I cannot. I guess having that up there is not going to be the worst. I'm going to lose out on a bit of energy. But... By and large, that should be okay. It's not going to affect any of my block, which is the main thing. And you're losing 17 hit points a turn right now. Just passively. That's the fight over. All right, get items. You do need to move. There we go. All right, what have we got? We've got a honeysuckle, adjacent weapon test, plus three this combat. Nothing really standing out to me here. That was just an elite fight that we had to do. Uh, let's go grab the money. Let's go and visit the shop. Another item there. The red pearl. Weapons along diagonal line. Get plus three damage. Right there would be amazing. Absolutely bonkers good. But I would have to shed five HP. Which I'm not willing to do. But I am willing to lose this in favor of it. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, a ladder. It's going to cost her way more than I can afford. Ah, damn. Oh, well. I should have thought about that, but I didn't. Uh, nothing here is good. Uh, oh, we've, that was way too well upgraded at this point for me to want to go for it. But let's check out the other chest if we can. Yeah, no. Uh, no, we weren't going to spin the wheel there either. Hello. My lord. Again. One, two. Three. Let's just focus on you. And they're all going to die so quickly. They don't realize it yet, but they're already dead. Oh. Oh. Is the Hex disabling you from removing yourself at the end of combat? Could be. Now that is a very interesting one. I think it might be, you know. But thank heavens we got that. Definitely needed it. Get items. Uh, yeah, when combat ends, remove from backpack. So... It, 
It didn't get removed from back. That's why it didn't. <laughs> okay, I understand now. However, whilst Avak of the past is busy reorganizing his backpack, Avak of the future, that is to say, editing Avak, is going to have to step in here. This run ended up taking way longer than expected because of uh, going down to the third uh, third dungeon level. And so we're going to have to split this off here. I know, I know, I've been doing a lot of long videos lately, but there is a point where no amount of bribery is going to uh, keep me safe from St. Algorithmus's wrath. So hopefully you can forgive me for uh, wrapping this one up at this point but on the plus side that means there's going to be more backpack heroes tomorrow so you know there is a silver lining to this cloud but that is going to be it for us for today i hope you have enjoyed i hope you're going to be joining us for the next but until then and as always do take care everyone